wait for some people to come on. Hey, B. Hey, everyone. I'm guessing most of you, like, know why I want to do this live. Hey, Bex. Oh, my hair. This is, like, the roots of my natural hair colour. It's due to be dyed a long time ago, but I just, I can't be bothered if I'm being honest. I'm not going to lie to you. very light my natural hair colour. Hey everyone. So as a lot of you see on my story, yeah, posted a natural picture earlier. Um and it's, I feel like it's really, really annoyed me, the people. Hey, Daddy. Um, I haven't got a foundation on. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. This is my natural skin. Don't mind my bruising on my lips. Um, yo, Mag. Um, it's not about me ignoring the haters, yeah? I get abuse and hate. Because I'm in the public eye, I'll get it on a daily basis every day it doesn't matter what i do what i say if my opinion's this if my opinion's that there will always be someone on here who does not agree with me so i'm used to it yeah but when i was growing up and i feel like when i was in school i was one of the girls who was very 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 self-conscious very self-conscious i hated myself there's a lot of deep-rooted issues with me when oh when I was in school. So I posted that picture earlier for younger girls because I'm really sick of seeing all these Instagram models with all of their, like, editing and everything. It's not a real image. It's really not a real image. And for me, growing up, I'm still young, so I see all of this. And I posted that picture earlier... Because 15 and 14 year olds, all they're seeing on Instagram now is makeup. I can't even do my own makeup. I'll be honest with you lot. I don't wear makeup because I can't do my own makeup. But I remember from when I was growing up, all of the girls in my school was all about makeup and having everything nice. And I just felt like the odd one out because that was never me. I, could, I couldn't even do that. I can just about do my eyebrows. I have to ask my friend George to do my eyebrows because I really can't do my own eyebrows. So it was like I was trying to spread a bit of positivity for the younger audience. And then all of these women jumped in and started attacking. And to be fair, quite a lot of them did get abused back and they deleted their comments. But that's not what I wanted to happen. I didn't want people to comment something bad and then a load of people attack them because... That's, that's not nice either. Like, I'm used to it, but the point is, if it was a girl up the road and her daughter's in secondary school and her daughter posts a picture without makeup on or without a filter on, and then all of the girls in her school comment on it, calling her ugly, yeah, it would be a whole different ball game Because I know if that was Dulcie and girls was commenting nasty things on her picture... I'd be going to the school, I'd be going to the mum, and I'd be telling the mum, you need to check your daughter because she's commenting nasty stuff about my child. My child's put a nice picture up. You know what I mean? Like, do you understand what I'm trying to get at? I just don't think it's right. Whereas I feel like... It's like you can't win with social media because one side... One side, everyone wants natural but someone will still comment on it something bad. And then the other side is everything's edited and everyone's had this done and everyone's had that done. And you'll get loads of nice comments on that because the picture looks nice, it looks professional. But then 
you'll still get nasty comments. It's like, so what's the balance? What can win? What do we do? What do we do here? What what is perfect? What have these teenagers and girls growing up got to do to be perfect and fit the mold? I don't get it. Someone explain it to me because I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. And I don't care about pleasing everyone. Like I said, I've been in the public eye for about four years. I'm used to this now. But for a young girl, this is a big worry. Like, I still remember now from when I was in school. I hate, I hated being in secondary school. And I went to an all-girls school. And it was, it was horrible. I hate, I absolutely hated it. And I feel like Instagram... And being an influencer and all that wasn't even that big when I was in school. It wasn't, it wasn't a big part. So think how much pressure these young girls are going to have on them now. Now, think how big Instagram is now. How it's affecting these girls mentally. Because it still affects me now. Like, I, I still, I don't like the way I look. I think I'm fat, like, do you know what I mean? It's just a normal thing, I think. But that's me now, older. I'm a big woman, I've got two children, do you know what I mean? These young girls in school haven't got a chance. It's, it's bad, it really is. And I just feel sorry for all these young girls in school because it's like, that. What, what can they do? I don't get it, I don't get it, I really don't get it. You can't do anything right. Someone, I, I get that. Someone's always going to have a negative opinion. But why do you need to share your negative opinion? You don't. You don't. Keep it to yourself. I have opinions, but never in my life will I go and comment on someone's post and say something horrible. What, 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 do, you, what do you gain out of it? What... what I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Someone needs to explain it to me because I need to. I feel like I need to understand what yous lot get out of commenting and being nasty to someone else and putting someone else down. And someone said to me before how people treat you is a reflection of how they're feeling inside. So most of the time, if someone comments something nasty, I won't feel sorry, not not feel sorry for them, but I'll think, oh, maybe she's feeling a bit, like, upset inside, do you know what I mean? But it's not on. You don't you don't be nasty to someone else because you're feeling upset inside. That's not OK. Like, I don't get it. It, it, bug, it bugs the life out of me. It really, really does. I haven't even read any of these comments yet. And it's, it's ne it was never about anyone calling me ugly, like, I don't care about that. People could think I'm ugly, it's fine. I'm not everyone's cup of tea, do you know what I mean? Not everyone's my cup of tea. My Dulcie's four, like Dulcie's four, and she's a very strong-minded little girl. Anyway, I don't really feel like I'm going to have much trouble with her. But it upsets me to think that she's going to have to go to school and go through everything that I went through, and probably ten times worse. Ten, ten times worse because, like I said before, Instagram or, and all of this what's perfect and what's not perfect and all of this wasn't really a big thing when I was in school. So it's like, my poor child is going to have to go through everything that I went through, but worse. And I will, she will never, ever be raised, ever, to think it is okay to say a bad word about anyone, not even, not even another woman, to say a bad word about anyone. Never. Like, I, I, just, I don't get how you lot have been brought up. I don't get it. Like, where's your respect? Where, where is it? Oh, my, don't. We, we went to boxing earlier and she wants to do boxing already. She was copying everything he was doing. 
I just don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't understand, like, how people are brought up to be horrible. Like, you're meant to support each other, do you know what I mean? Not tear everyone down. What What are you benefiting out of tearing people down? Is that making you feel better? Like, is that making you go up, do you know what I mean? If someone's got something you haven't got, say if someone's worked hard to get something, if you leave a negative comment, is that putting you any closer to getting where you want to be? No, it's not. So why are you wasting your time? All this time and energy these people waste on being negative and putting negative stuff, they're missing out on building themselves and getting to their goals and where they want to be. People are actually sick. Social media is literally one of the most fakest places. Like, I've met Instagram models that I look at and they're lovely, lovely people. They are very naturally pretty. But their Instagram is not, like, anything how their life is. It's not portrayed the same. It's really not. It's really not. How do you have so much positive? vibes <laughs> it's, it's took a long time a long 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 time like if you knew me when I was younger you would know I was very angry all the time and again that's deep rooted issues of me not being happy with myself and things that happened in my life I was always very angry and one person said one thing to me, I'm snapping, I'm going mental, I'm going crazy. You lot see it on the show. You see how short my temper and my fuse was. And it's taken a lot for me to turn things into positive. Like, a long, long, long time. I've had a lot of battles with myself for me to now come out on top and realise that... oh. All, you know what it was? All the negative energy, I realised. Everything that I was taking badly and only affected me. It only affected me. It made me feel sad. It made me cry. It made me angry. It made me upset. While everyone else was carrying on living their life. So I twisted everything. Why am I thinking negative all the time? What's that doing me? That's not doing me nothing. Thinking positive. Look how many good things has happened in my life in the last six months. Because that's, because that's down to me, how I think mentally. So I don't understand why all these people that leave negative comments and say negative stuff think they're going to move forward in their life because they're not. They're just going to stay in this circle. Bad vibes, bad energy. Nothing moves forward. You'll be positive. And that's why I always put positive things on my story, like to try and... Influence. I know I've got a lot of young girls on my social media. I want to influence people to do better and be positive. Not to sit there and question themselves. Like, who wants to do that? I just don't get it. You say a long time. What things did you do? I just started looking at myself. I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of big mistakes. And you, you just, I don't know. Until you realise what you're doing in your life, if everything bad's happening to you, what are you doing to attract that bad stuff? It bubbles down to you. You're attracting negative energy, you're attracting negative things, like, do you know what I mean? Until you realise that and you want to make a change, nothing's going to happen. I haven't even read hardly any of these comments. I'm so sorry. We went to the same school. Oh, I hated my school. Horrible place. Positive attracts positivity. It does. Law of attraction. Listen, if you knew the madness of law of attraction... I can't even talk about it on here. It's mad. I'm 
film because it actually so many comments on here. Oh, I always put my I always bite my nails. It's so bad, and they're fake nails as well. I need to get them infilled. From Ireland, fair play for owning your mistakes. Listen, I made a lot of mistakes, and anyone who knows me personally knows there was a lot of mistakes. But if you don't make mistakes, you don't learn in life. You have to make mistakes to learn. Like, otherwise you're never going to learn anything. What age would you let your kids have social media? Pfft, never at this rate. Never. The way it's make, made me feel, never. I don't want them to have social media, but that's never going to happen. I'm never going to be able to stop them so they can have it when they're old enough to have it. Yeah, the babies are asleep. They've got school tomorrow. Whose horse is that, Mag? Please don't make me do it online. I'm not going to do it. Um, well, Kenzie's got school. Dulcie hasn't. I've got training tomorrow. Do you know what? I actually don't really have a big secret. Like... My skin's actually not that clear. No, Mag, I'm not doing it. And can I just say thank you as well to everyone who did comment nice things, like... Everyone who commented nice things. And everyone who gets it. Not all these negative Nancy Karens that are just out here trying to put other people down because they feel like shit. You feeling like shit is not my problem, love. Go and make yourself happy and then come back to me like, and be nice. You know what I mean, I can't help you. <laughs> to be fair, I think I was already... I, I wasn't mature mature, but I was a mature 16-year-old. But definitely having Kenzie opened my eyes a lot more. A lot, lot more. Positive vibes, ma'am. Positive vibes, Margaret, only. I hate bullies, too. Love how on you straight up you are. Listen, I don't beat around the bush. If I've got a problem, I've got a problem. I, I can't stand people who beat around the bush. I really can't. Be straight talking. What is the point in beating around the bush? Just be straight talking. Address your issues, you know what I mean? No, I'll never ever dye my hair red again. My hair red? Yeah. Ever. Yeah, that's the dog snoring, by the way, not the kids. Keyboard warriors and trolls. That's another thing as well, yeah? Oh, I'm just trying to think. Nah, fuck it. Do you know what? Social media has got some of you lot too comfortable with moving mad and typing shit and thinking you ain't going to get a smack in the mouth for it. Because... None of you would be that brave to go and comment something. Like, to go and say half the shit you lot say on social media to someone's face. Ever. On my life. I'm telling you now, you lot wouldn't be that brave. Mm -mm. And I know you wouldn't. Because you get too brave on social media. You get too brave. Too, too brave. You're getting too big for your boots. Yeah, so I had to debate it then. I had to think, oh... 
what I mean? Can I say that? And then I thought, fuck it. On all my days. If you're the girl from Romford, yeah, that messaged me shit and then was all on Tattle Life saying, oh, I live around the corner from them. They wouldn't say fuck all to my face. You live in Romford, darling. I work in Romford. Come find me in Romford. Come, bring bring that same energy. Let's go. Because I'm sick to death of you people thinking you can chat shit and get away with it. On my life. I can't even remember what that girl's name was. It's really annoying me. People were actually annoying me. And do you know what? Half the people I was looking earlier, yeah, half the people that was commenting on my stuff are from, like, Australia and New Zealand. You don't even live in my country. I don't get it. I don't get it. You don't even live in my country. Do you know what I mean? It baffles me. Oh, sorry, Dad. I didn't know you were still watching. <laughs> oh, I've got two French bulldogs. Make literally no one's got time for it, do you know what I mean? And I can guarantee you now, half the people that have said something horrible about me, yeah, have walked past me in Lakeside. Or somewhere. They've seen me somewhere. I'm telling you now. I know they have. People are too comfortable. Oh, the lions. Was that you? Don't, because I'm going to cry on live, and I, Megan doesn't cry, but that poor little child touched me, like, broke my heart, it really did break my heart. Positive vibes only, definitely. And they look like Susan Boyle back, please. But girls, honestly, the whole story just, it got to me, it really did, it really did get to me, it really is a sin. Oh, I love that you're putting orange hearts, I didn't even know we had an orange heart. I feel like that story just touched everyone, like, it was crazy. Yeah, it really is devastating. My hair looks healthy. Do you know what? I cut it all off. It's very short, like, that's my hair. It's very short. I cut it all off. It needs to have another cut again because it's getting thin. Biggest role model. I don't really feel like I have a role model, I'm not going to lie to you. We were all hoping for a miracle. No, I like, it was, it was horrible. Like, and I can tell you that was the same. Me and my sisters literally cried. It was horrendous. And I feel so sorry for her mum and dad and the family. It's a sin, it really is. I could never imagine what they're going through. Ever, 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 ever. Oh, 
Oh, I missed um, Sam Bailey singing the star. had my little rant and now we're all like getting emotional over Azalea, God love her. I'm going to have to go and watch her singing the song on her Instagram, Sam Bailey. I didn't see it. Do you talk to anyone from TOWIE? Um... I speak to a few of the girls. Like, me and Frankie Sims speak every now and then. But not like, I don't know any of them personally. It's just through Instagram. I like only come alive to do a rant and now we're like having conversations. for being a team mum be prepared to get hate be prepared for people telling you what to do with your child because that happened a lot but it's your it's your baby it's you and your baby it's not your mum's baby it's not your mum in law's baby it's not your auntie's baby it's your baby so you do what's right oh the dogs are off on one you do what you think is right for you and your baby. Best advice of being in a toxic relationship? Girl, leave! What do you mean advice? Advice for what? Leave. Take it from someone who's been there. Leave. Gucci, please, mate. Do you know how long it took me to grow these brows? I overplucked when I was in school and they was like... Like that. Yes, good. Leave. Typical Essex girl loved that. Oh, don't remind me. Oh. I need to, but why I feel like I'm too involved. Doesn't matter how involved you are. Leave if it's controlling and abusive. It's not going anyway good. It's really not. No, I don't, Blaze. Can you, why are you barking? The dog just barks at Finair. Luna barks at the water bowl. Like, the, I don't know what, they're just, I don't know. I don't know. Just don't pluck them. Don't pluck them. See, if you've got, like, odd hair, yeah, don't pluck it. Don't do it. See, if you've got, like... Okay, maybe in the middle, like, there, pluck, yeah, but... Like, there, or there, or there. Don't pluck it. Don't do it. And they'll grow out. Don't pluck them. <laughs> Some of you lot, mate. Oh, I, already, I didn't need to screenshot it, darling. I already see that time ago. Mm. 
my my hair's actually naturally thin, but I just stopped plucking. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just stopped. I stopped it. Shave them all off at fifteen. Never grew back there. You shaved your eyebrows off, or did I miss a comment? Do you mean you shaved your eyebrows off? I'm really confused. Yeah, I'm confused about what's going on in these comments as well. They have grown back like pubic hair. What, because you shaved them off? If you shave, if you shave any part of hair, it comes back thicker and darker. <laughs> Girls, why are you all shaving your eyebrows off? Are we talking about eyebrows? I'm mortified. I actually feel like I'm terrorized now. I'm really confused. Are we talking about shaving eyebrows off? Someone needs to answer me. Yeah, is this a new trend or something? Because I'm not involved in this one. Lockdown trend. No, I'm not involved in that one. Sorry, I'm not shaving my eyebrows off. To be fair, though, when I was younger, I used to like. That's probably why I had no eyebrows, you know. Because I used to shave the middle, but I probably used to go to... Oh, my God. I have shaved my eyebrows before. The regret has just kicked in, do you know what I mean? I've just, it's just popped back up in my brain. I used to shave the middle, but I probably used to go too far. That's probably why my eyebrows was there. Not from plucking. Oh, what a fool. Look at their hair. They've got microblades. Look at their hair. They've got microblades. Do you believe in karma? Yeah. I do. Good karma and bad karma. I've had both. Everyone gets karma. Oh, 21st of May, I'm sure you just miss out on being a Taurus. Seventeenth of May. I feel like it's one of my family's birthdays. Yeah, it is. I think the seventeenth's my auntie's. I think, is it? I think it is. Never understood lip fillers don't look right. That's absolutely fine. You ain't got them on. But you ain't got filler in your mouth, so... Sweet. Is anyone on my birthday? Mine's the 15th. Usual before or after. Oh, your daughter's the 15th of May. Birthday twins. Great. 
crazy. You missed the whole rant. You literally missed everything. Eighteen third. Is no one on my birthday? My mum is the fifteenth. Another birthday twin. Yeah, me, I'm fifteenth, same age too. Oh, oh I've got bare birthday twins. I'll voice note you after I get off here, Grace. Dulcie's just turned, what month are we in? Yeah, Dulcie's just turned four. She's the 29th of March. And Mackenzie will be six in October. And he is the 29th of October. Hey, bug. Recap, please. Oh, I actually had a really big rant. Recap is basically all you women that find it acceptable to comment hate and abuse on other girls' pictures are the reason that your daughters and nieces and whatever feel insecure that they can't post a picture without a filter. That's it in a nutshell. I really can't go over and think again because I was on here for a long time. Someone definitely screen recorded it anyway, so it'll probably be on the gossip page at some point. One of the gossip pages. Probably get twisted and turn into something negative. I think you're doing so well with mental health, not pretending but rolling with the punches. This is mental health is no joke. Oh, listen, I could wake up tomorrow. I probably will wake up tomorrow and be down because of everything that's happened. But you know what? We move. We move, guys. We move. I've done my own lips. I've done them on myself. Thanks, guys, for all the nice comments. Oh, I actually love my little brother because he's just such a lovely little soul. See so, what I mean? We, us lot, have been brought up with respect. Do you know what I mean? Like, we say nice things, we don't say horrible things. So, all these people that say horrible things, I don't like. I don't understand. I don't understand how you've not been brought up. Like, my 13 year old brother's here commenting, telling me my lips look nice. Like, we've all been brought up close with respect and to be nice to people, not, like, tear people down, do you know what I mean? You're lovely when you're not trying to beat me up and push me down the stairs. <laughs> Joking, love you. <laughs> don't understand why everyone can't just be nice. It literally, the old saying, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say it, do you know what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no need. What is... I don't understand why people would prefer to say something bad that's going to make someone feel bad about themselves rather than saying, I like your dress. Even if it's something that you wouldn't wear. Oh, your dress looks really nice. It looks really nice on you. That person's going to be walking around all happy, like, oh, I've got a little compliment and that. 
But people can't do it. People cannot bring themselves to be nice to other people. And I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. That I really don't understand it. Even if someone's doing something that you necessarily wouldn't do or doing something how you wouldn't do it, doesn't mean they're doing it wrong or that they deserve for people to, like, tear them down about it. It's just not how you would do it. So what? Move on with yourself. Oh, and you know, yeah, that's a good point. It takes more energy to be nasty than it does to be nice. So... The whole Be Kind movement after Caroline Flack didn't last long, did it? You know what? It literally didn't. It didn't. And it's, that's one thing that annoys me. Most of the people commenting horrible things was the people that's phone up on their story. Oh, be kind. Rest in peace and all this bullshit. You lot are the main cause. Like, people do... Like, this stuff does get to people. Just because I'm in the public eye does not mean... That you not get a free pass to say what you want about me. Because I, st I still sit here and I still read that. Yeah, I delete comments, but I still have to read that. I still have to think, oh, what that person thinks out of me. I still have to sit there and look at that. Like, doesn't matter how big or mainstream or even small stream someone is. I'm not even, like, big. I mean, imagine these people that are, are well-known... The things that they have to go through is like, it's mental. It is actually mental. People hate them, have be kind in their bio. Oh, it's always them ones. It is always them ones. Be kind, but you're out here spreading hate and negativity. Mental. But then I don't get it. I don't get why people need to be jealous and then, like, be bitter and negative about things. Like, there's always going to be someone who's got something nicer than you have. So instead of being negative and, and feeling angry that they've got something better than you, why don't you get up and work towards getting that or the next best thing? You're sitting there making yourself annoyed and angry because someone's got something nicer than you. They've got up and worked for that. So why don't you get up and work for it and go one step up? Do you know what I mean? Like, it baffles me. It really baffles me. I just don't get why people, like, want to knock people down. I just don't get it. It really does that for me. Yeah, exactly. Blowing out someone else's light doesn't make yours shine brighter. It really doesn't. Love you, Bubba. Oh, it's the dog snoring. It's not the kids, it's the dogs. Oh, I get trolls. I get trolls all the time, but mostly it's people on fake accounts, like. And it's another thing that bugs me, these people that sit there on fake accounts. You know what? I used to sit there and think these people that are trolls are sitting at home and they've got no life and they've got no one. That's not true. These people that are trolls are mothers and have children and have normal jobs and go to work nine to five 
and have nice lives, but they still feel the need to comment on other people's stuff. Like, I don't get it. You've got kids. How have you got time to sit here and be that invested in someone else's lives? I don't understand. I don't get it. I, don't, I really don't understand. It baffles me, it really does. Like, I don't even really have the time to do half the stuff I do. Like, the last week and a half, I have not stopped. I've hardly touched my phone. Like, I have not stopped. I've got endless amount of messages to get through, business messages on both my beauty page pages. Like, I've got so much work to do, but I have not, I've not stopped. I haven't had the time. So I don't understand how you lot that work nine to five and have children and have a home to look after and do all of this other stuff. Like, still have time to sit there and hate. Like, I don't get it. Well, I actually, I don't get it. Baffles me. But, and even now, there's still people in the comments coming on here, like commenting something not nice. What do you get out of it, darling? Like, what do you what? What, what do you get out of it? What? Do, what I don't understand. Tell me what you get. Like, I, I don't understand it. It baffles me. And it's all right saying, oh, they're just jealous. But what? What are you jealous of? Tell me. Because there's nothing to be jealous of here. Like, what are you jealous of? Can you talk about BPD? Right, just to clear this up as well, BPD is not um, bipolar. It's borderline personality disorder. Who said go die? Didn't even see that. Oh, men trolling is just as bad as men trolling is worse. It's actually worse. Um Diagnosis Um sorry my mind went blank then. Diagnosis wasn't easy. It did take quite a while but it took some I don't really wanna to say to, like what happened on here but yeah, some I had done something stupid that was what triggered me to actually like them to think okay what what's going on sort of thing i'm actually so tired oh someone told me to go and die that's lovely, isn't it? See what I mean? People have nothing better to do. Yeah, Luke was my brother. My little baby brother. The youngest of the Ferraris he is. I did have very bad anger issues um, because of BPD. However, I've learned to not control it, but keep it under wraps and not let myself get triggered as much as I did before. Like a lot of, I used to just lose it. I would lose it 
lose it mentally, but I don't do it anymore. What coping mechanisms? One thing I will say for BPD is don't react straight away. One thing that I've learned is don't don't react straight away. Take a hot sec. Breathe. I try and take at least 20 minutes, half hour, yeah, to think over the situation. Think, is it really worth it? Can I be bothered to have an argument? Like... Do you know what I mean? Any situation I stop, pause, give it 20 minutes, think about it, and then by the time the 20 minutes has gone past, it's like, you know what, it's not, it's not even bothered me anymore. Whereas if I would have reacted in the moment, it would have been blown up into a big thing and it just would have been made 10 times worse. I actually don't drink tea. Thank you, though. <laughs> No, it's, I haven't got bipolar disorder. I've got borderline personality disorder. Yeah, hot-headed in an argument. Take a minute. Take a minute. I re it is really, really, like calms me down a lot if someone triggers me or gets on my nerves you I'll shut down I will shut down before you get a response off me because I need to take time to think and deep the situation and think do you know what is it actually really worth it is it worth me arguing back with you me getting spiteful both of us saying things that we don't mean and never being able to come back from it because once you've said something you can't take it back do you know what I mean so I take a hot sick You just sort of need to, like, get to that point where you just stop, don't react. Leave, walk out of the room, go and lay down, go and take a hot second, go somewhere else, be by yourself, and then like, evaluate it, do you know what I mean? Because otherwise you're just going to make things worse for yourself. You're just going to be in the same circle nothing's going to change oh but guys it's been lovely talking to you I'm going to bed now I've got a very very full day tomorrow jam packed like mental but I love you all thank you all for coming on here and watching <laughs>